Ah, oh, I'm defeated. I'm not the world's strongest anymore. Cold. It's so stupidly cold. I think I caught an air condition conditioning cold already. How do you even know what an air conditioner even is? Read it? You read it about about it in a manga again? I saw one in Renosi's store once. Such such a convenient device. If I could buy it, summer wouldn't be so bothersome anymore. Even Chiu no lost to them. What should we do? They treat me like a kid. I'm so mad. Well, you are a kid. Fighting with you wasn't even worth a warm up. If I could, if I get a cold, I'm def I definitely sue you. Yeah, bro, it's like you shouldn't interrupt when other uh, adults are talking. Damn you! Let's fight again. Air conditioning is so expensive to maintain though. I can't afford it forever. Really? If I were you, I'd just borrow it from him forever. We can live much longer than him anyway. What? We can live much longer than... I think it would be better if it says we can't live much longer than him anyway. Because if we can live much longer than him, then yes, he would fucking mine. But the other way around, then yeah, it wouldn't be that big of a deal then. Come on! Wait a second, don't we have a very convenient pawn here? Convenient? This Frost Yokai ability can be a perfect AC replacement, right? Oh, you're a genius, Z! Alright, you two, stop ignoring me! Nice soul creation. Wow, what are you doing to me? That's <laughs> such a great ability. Now I won't have to be afraid of the summer heat anymore. Chiuno, please calm down. Die. They've done it to me too, but I felt nothing wrong. This spell is harmless. No, they deceive you, die. Those humans are not good persons after at all. Yeah, I don't think that's the right. But if it was Chiuno, I could kind of believe that too. Come, humans, face me again. We need to call Rinosuke after we leave this place. Yep, now that we have two more Nile Souls, we can make even more dolls. I'm starting to like this catch em all stuff. Indeed, I'm starting to like it too. Oh, you bastards! It does seem very easy to use. This spellbook of yours, mind if I borrow it from you, like, for a decade or so? I refuse. Anyway, we can't let those fairies mess around here. Someday, I will need to teach them about the rules. Alright, so now that we have Chu, you know. How do how does Oh there you go. Oh I think this is fine. I'm gonna test out Chirino and see how she works. Like I like Dai you say for healing. Marissa and Rainbow kinda kinda keep for now. Um I don't know what how the best effective use for Grumia really is. Maybe defensive because she had that ability of hers. But I don't know. So I can't really say much about that. Let's see her thing. Have unparalleled ability in the elves. I don't know about elves, so I can't say much about that. Good at ice skills. Although the offense of a defensive is not prominent, it but it will bother boss so much. Which is kind of what we do with every single battle, so that kind of is good. Um... What did they have? That's a good question. What was he? These items don't even look good. You really don't. Ah, <sighs> oh, okay. That's a Chiuno item. Two less shield, more attack, one shield regen. Can you upgrade them? I don't know. Perhaps we get better items? 
Um, if you grew higher difficulty, that's what I'm assuming right now. I can't tell. So let's just continue on from here. Uh, that's what we just did. Uh, arrived at, in the Red House, accurately speaking, in front of the Red Castle. It is obvious that the Red Fog began to spread. It spread with the Red Fog, or knife like sharp from demons. What? Okay, whatever. What kind of demons enemies are hidden here? Mei Ring is a great fighter to, of, of hand to hand. I'm assuming her democracy skills are not very threatening, but she deals great damage and attack. Be careful. Most of her spells need to charge for one turn. Use this to prepare, organize your attack, and skill to crush her. Don't be blind. If your HP are quite low, healing or defensive, patiently deal with the boss. If you lost your patient strategy, you may lose this fight. Okay. I might as well. To... I don't know what- oh fuck. I don't know what constitutes a combo at all. But I don't- I don't- I don't know what constitutes that. I didn't get hit this time, that's good. 14? I guess that's not bad. Firm ground and vegetations. A sight for sore eyes, indeed. However, that ominous manor over there, that would be our troublemaker stronghold, I suppose. Anyway, now that we're out of this frozen hell of a lake, my body has recovered. I feel much better already. Eh, but you seem just fine before. It's like spells can't even graze you. And you're telling me that wasn't even your peak form. Well, obviously, even I could only use a fraction of my powers in this cold. Not to mention the restrictions of the spell card rules. It's also bothersome. Look at you bragging. So without those rules, you'd be some kind of war goddess. Well, if I go all out, yes, I could certainly be. And you can't fool me. After all, wasn't it you who proposed the spell card rule and then held all those boring explanation meetings? Who told you that? I can't even remember how many of those meetings I skipped on. Furthermore, I didn't actually suggest the spell card rule. I was merely in charge of promoting and enforcing it. Makes sense, it's hard to imagine that someone like you, too lazy to even care about the uh, incidents, would take the initiative in promoting such a thing. Well, that's because I need the money, of course. The same is true for dealing with incidents. Stray maintenance has got to eat, after all. However, the rewards are way too cheap. All those jobs are dangerous or troublesome, and that guy does not nothing does nothing but sleep all day while I deal with it all by myself. Ah, oh, I started complaining again. My bad. For some reason, I feel like you should- you just revealed a lot of stuff I should have never heard about. And the guy who does nothing but sleep? Are we talking about- This is no business of yours. Besides, if you ask any more questions, you might just be removed from the creation in a snap. Wait, you're telling me we're dealing- we're being monitored right now? Well, that's to be expected of such an existence. It's exactly as you're imagining it to be. Well, let's cut the topic already. Now that we found the leader's stronghold, the fight is certainly going to find its way to us. Thanks to this weird fortune of telling of yours, I'm sure you will be proven right anytime soon. No matter, we've defeated all those belligerent fairies in a cinch. So far, there hasn't been anyone worthy of my time. And there you go, trading in a flag. Don't be so full of yourself, girl. There will be trouble soon. Da da da! In response to your prayers, a worthy foe appears. Greetings. And who are you? Damn it, we were careless. We could have been in trouble if she had decided to pull a sneak attack on us. Remember what I said about not being full of yourself? Anyway, is this one Chinese? You are indeed a smart one. To be more accurate, I am a yokai of Chinese origin. Hong Bei Ring will entertain you, esteemed intruders. Eh, doesn't matter. Just one more sandbag to practice my magic pawn. You claim to be a strong one, but your aura is pretty weak, lady. Do not judge a book by its cover. Isn't it common in mangas Chinese heroes get super strong once drunk? Mangas again? Haven't you? Hasn't your cartoon common sense been useless so far? That much is true. When I were I drunk, I would be stronger indeed. Damn it! Are both of you in cahoots against me? However, you seem quite sober right now. Is it because you're aware that I'm about to beat you to the ground? You seem quite confident, but this isn't it. I'm, as I'm sure you're aware, a, a sentinel isn't allowed to drink on duty. And even though I like sake very much, I cannot carry some on me at all times. Well then, it will be easier to knock you down, and I won't have mercy, eh, mercy on yokais. What's with that? When you hit me, you didn't have mercy either. 
Indeed, you are much more bothersome than any yokai after all. Seriously gonna start hating your guts, girl, you know? Please do forgive my rudeness, but the lands being behind those gates belong to my master. If you two are willing to go back, I will not attack you. Even if we do fight, as long as you apologize to turn back, I will let you go. Take this as my goodwill. My why, my, what a polite yokai. To be honest, I find this quite relaxing. However, this red mist is your master's doing, right? And we're here to kick that guy's butt. I see you. I apologize, but I will not let you proceed, so... And guard! Oi, something's wrong here. That look in her eyes has changed. And the pressure from her aura is skyrocketing. No matter, in the end, she's just a mere gates gatekeeper. I've shot down one before, I can do it again. It appears to me that you do not understand what a guardian is. This humble guardian before you is akin to a steel shield forged in loyalty. In order to not bring shame to my master and protect the people behind these gates, I've been training myself hard every single day. Your little spells and magic trick cannot harm this iron body of mine. Fine then, if you lose, this iron body of yours will belong to me. That sounded super weird and evil, you know.